Hi, we're in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida at Hangsters, and we got a real special guest for you today, a real attractive guest, 1967 Pontiac GTO, the real deal, a real 242 code car, not a tribute, not a style car. This thing is a real deal, 1967 GTO Pontiac, and it houses a four-speed transmission with the optional HO 400 engine in it. The only step above this engine is the Ram Air package, and that's the only difference between the two. This one does not have the Ram Air. It does have the high flow exhaust system on it. It still retains its original um, quadrajet uh, carburetor on it, cast iron intake manifold, air gap type for Pontiac, and like I said, high flow exhaust on it. New alternator, as you can see, new power steering brake booster and master cylinder. Uh, both of those have been done new. Power steering on this particular car does not have air conditioning. Very few of these performance cars in this era did. This one does not. It does have a high flow radiator in it. New battery. This car is a complete rotisserie restoration from top to bottom, front to back. You'll see the undercarriage later in a video that we show just how nicely this car is done and to what degree of perfection it's been, uh, it's been uh, restored to. Again, everything under this hood is as it should be for a 1967 Pontiac GTO. The paint, the, the fit, the finish, everything underneath here, including the flat black underneath the hood, is all correct. It is era correct. Correct style valve pan covers, hoses, belts, everything under this engine compartment is correct for a 242 GTO car. Fantastic engine compartment, and the rest of the car is even more fantastic, which we'll show you. Okay, going across the front of our 1967 GTO, I don't know if you noticed, but it's definitely kind of a bright color of red. You know, fantastic combination. You got a triple red car here. You got a red top, you got a red uh, base car, and you have a red interior in this car. Fantastic combination. Has a lot of eyeball to it. The paint on the car, again, this is a total restoration. This thing is completely done from beginning to end. Paint on the car, the fit, the finish, Everything on this car is just exemplary. As you can see, the chrome around the uh, headlight basils are, are just as nice and, and shiny and, and thick as can be. Uh, the original chrome grills are still in it. GTO designation in the front. Parking light lenses are very, very clear in this particular car. Bumper alignment is just beautiful. Um, I don't know how you could possibly get it any better than it is. You can see it, it lines up laterally and uh, the gap on the, on the front bumper is just as nice as it can possibly be. No pitting on your Pontiac uh, arrow here. Uh, the car is just a fantastic, fantastic car across the nose of it here. We also have a uh, hood man and a tachometer, which was an option on this particular car. Great car across the front end. There's absolutely nothing that you could uh, uh, put a negative on the front end of this car. Okay, going down our driver's side, you can see this car is just exemplary in every way. Wheel well molding, no dents whatsoever. Pontiac GTO designation on the bottom. Fender to door, absolutely fantastic. Correct blades and arms on this car for 1967. Tinted windshield in it. Glass trim is, there's no dents or marks or anything that I can see on the uh, trim around the front windshield or around the, uh, the wing area. Uh, remote adjust mirror on the car. No imperfections, no uh, dings or marks or anything in the top of this car. None whatsoever. All new wipers and fuzzies in the uh, doors, the uh, anodized aluminum on the top of the doors is just beautiful as you can see. It does have again another option. It has the uh, door edge guards which are real fine in the 66, 67 cars. As you can see the uh, Lower body treatment, which is all stainless steel, just lines up as nice as could possibly be. It's a beautiful, beautiful fitment on that. And it's difficult to do because you have, you have actually three large pieces there that you have to somehow get the, to match together. And this is very well done, very well. Correct PMD uh, optional steering wheel for the car. Again, I did say it, it does have a four speed with the correct Hurst shifter in the car and a console. Gauge package, which has the idiot lights in it. Uh, it does have a tachometer on the uh, hood, however. It does have 
a trio of uh, auxiliary gauges underneath the dash, which you also see from Rich's uh, um, pictures and still photos that he shows you. Interior in the car, carpeting, everything is absolutely as new. Brand spanking new. Headliner just as drum tight as can possibly be. Uh, gauge package is nice and clear and crisp. The wood on the dash, again, is the same way. It's just as nice and clean as, as it could possibly be. Dashboard doesn't have any cracks or, or warping or anything on it. The, the pad on it is nice as can be. The grab rail for the uh, GTO is still on the uh, passenger side. Used to be a neat story. Everybody used to say if you have a GTO, you put a hundred dollar bill on a dashboard. And when you're going through the first three gears, if the passenger can get that hundred dollar bill, they can have it. And that's why you put the grab rail in. Help you get that hundred dollar bill. That's how hard these cars used to accelerate. Door onto the quarter panel, just as nice as can be, the same way you can see that there's this, this is a very, very high quality car. It's one of the cars that we try to showcase that uh, the quality of this car is just over and above what would ever, ever offered from the factory at that era. This car is just under the nth degree. Again, the wheel lip molding and the remainder of the stainless on the back or on the bottom of the uh, quarter panel. GTO designation on the back. Uh, the whole side of this car is absolutely laser straight. Forgot to mention it does have the Rally 2 wheels on it, which were really iconic wheels for Pontiac at this era. Uh, everyone with a GTO preferred this wheel over the Rally 1s. Uh, just a great package, and really to accentuate them, you have uh, white letter tires too. So the car is a triple red car. Uh, Rally 2s, white letter tires, four speed. I mean, it, this is getting as good as it could possibly be. Let's see what's on the back. Okay, around the back of our 67 GTO. First equip, four speed shifter. That's the way they came. GTO on the right hand side. Back end of this car is just as nice as the, uh, uh, the front side. Bumper fitment the same way as the front, just as nice as it can possibly be. I don't see any deviation whatsoever on that front bumper. Uh, front or back bumper fitment. Also, the exhaust tips are the correct rolled tips. These are very expensive to buy. Most people just put chrome tips on it. Those are their trumpet style rolled tips, very expensive to do. It shows you what degree this car's been done to. Original tail light assemblies in it. The um, trim around the tail lights is very, very nice. Uh, no uh, corrosion or deterioration on them. Has the original lenses in it. There are a couple you can't see them, but I'm just telling you they're there. They're very, very hairline cracks. I can't even feel them. So, I mean, they're not, it's not like a crack crack, but it, it, it's there. It's just part of a, a you know, shrinkage of that plastic. It's only been 50 some years. I can't understand how that could happen. Uh, little ding on this piece of trim here um, could be taken out, and we, we will have this taken out. I don't like that. That's going to get fixed. Fitment of the uh, deck lid is just fantastic. Finish on the back of this car equals that on the front of the car and down the driver's side. There's no orange peel whatsoever to it. No warping, no uh, deviation on it, no bleed through anywhere on the paint. The car is just an incredible, incredible restoration. Okay, around our back window, uh, the uh, trim is really, really nice across the top. Down the side, over there, there's, what the heck? There are one, two, three little tiny, tiny dinghies like in this piece of stainless trim here. You really can't notice it until you look down through it, like pan across the side of it. They're there. I just want you to know that they're there. You probably won't see them in the video, but I'm telling you they're there. Hat rack is as it was when it was new. Uh, no um, uh, fade on the back seat, uh, the top of the back seat from sun or anything. Uh, the interior of this car is just brand spanking new. Again, GTO on the quarter panel, stainless on the bottom, just as nice as it would ever be. Wheel lip molding, just really, really a nice, nice fit on the wheel lip molding. Quarter panel, again, just like the other side, just laser straight down the side. Drip rail on the other side was, was flawless, and so is this one. This is just as nice as you're ever going to find. Again, the whiskers. Wipes. Absolutely fantastic. 
door handle, same way, all new chrome. This car was just done from beginning to end. The side of this car is the same way. Um, it, even, it, it even still houses the original equipment type Pontiac rubber floor mats with the Pontiac arrow. Everything closes and fits as it should. You can see quarter panel to the door. Again, your lower body treatment is just lined up as nice as could possibly be. Trim around the front windshield on this side, same as the other side, just, just absolutely flawless. I can't get over how everything fits on this car, how nicely it's, uh, it's assembled. It never came that way from the factory. It never was that nice before. Again, the hood to the cowl area, and front fender, gorgeous. Front wheel lift molding, same way, no problems. Appears to have tinted glass on the side too. We don't have side windows up. This appears to be tinted on the wing, so I'm going to guess it has all tinted. That's what it seems like anyway. Um, it is a four-speed car. It is triple red. It is an HO 400 engine in it. Correct intake manifold, exhaust, everything else on it. Uh, the correct exhaust system on it. The undercarriage of this car mimics the top of this car. That's how straight and nice it is. When you see the perimeter frame on this car, the uh, floorboards, the entire, uh, the car in its entirety, you know, we're going to show you the video underneath depicting everything underneath this car. We'll walk through it the same as we did the top. Also, this car is all original tin. No one's hung any doors or quarters or fenders on it. This is the original Pontiac tin that this car came with. The, um, the frame Everything has been done to the nth degree. Frame's been powder coated. Every nut, bolt, and screw has been addressed, as you'll see underneath this car when we do it. The car is a very rare find, especially in a, in a red, red car, the way this car is. Uh, to have a fit and finish that this car has with a four speed really makes this a very, very rare car. It, we do have Pontiac PMD documentation for this car also, which we'll show you also in addition to this video. The car is a fantastic find, uh, it, it's a rare color combination to find one in this combination, in a four speed, in this condition. It, it, it's just a fantastic find. It's available at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and you're going to have an absolute blast showing this baby off. This thing's a fantastic vehicle. Alright, we're in our 1967 Pontiac Real 242 GTO. And this guy is red, with a red interior, red carpeting, red dash, red headliner, red everything. And, check this out, three pedal car, four speed, really a great combination. You got the best combination you can get, red, 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 hood mount attack, which was an option on this vehicle, deluxe steering wheel. Because it has a hood mounted tack, it does not have all the auxiliary gauges with the tack mounted in the dash. So it does have auxiliary gauges underneath the dash. Water temperature, amp, and oil pressure. And they all function. Carpeting in this vehicle is absolutely gorgeous. The seats, the door panels, the headliner, everything in it is exemplary. There's no cracks in the steering wheel. Eh. Can't hardly see it, but there, there might be. Let's call it a start of a crack, because it's not even quite a crack yet, but you can hardly feel it, but it is there. You won't see it in the video or in the still pictures, but I'm just telling you there are a couple small little starting cracks in the steering wheel. Everything in this car is just as nice as it was when it was new in the best color combination you can get. This is a nice GTO, and here's the key to the whole operation right here, four speed. Well, we're underneath our 1967 Pontiac GTO. We just did the uh, top part of this car, walk around on it. Uh, you're going to see all the, uh, the still photos, the interior pictures, everything about it. This particular car was a complete frame-off rotisserie restoration. Um, it, it's just been addressed from every angle, and every piece of this car is still the original factory tin from Pontiac in 1967. Pretty much everything has been reconditioned to the point of being new again, or replaced with new components. New shocks in the front, new springs in the front, 
um, new idler arms, new steering box, new pitman arm, new idler arm, I said that, new spindles, new rotors, new brake calipers, you can see the engine's been out and completely reconditioned, no oil leaks whatsoever on it, new bushings on the uh, front heavy duty sway bar for Pontiac GTO, Moving back through, uh, the, the uh, bell housing is dry as can be. You can see that. It is a four-speed car. The uh, flywheel does not have a cover on it. A lot of guys leave those off just simply to keep things a lot cooler. It can be replaced. There's only four bolts that hold it in place. It's not a big deal to replace it, though. But oh, it's smarter to leave it off to let things cool as they should. Undercarriage is absolutely phenomenal on this car. Stainless steel brake lines going toward the rear. You can see them inside the um, C-type fr uh, frame. It is a, a perimeter frame, but it's not a full box frame. Pontiac didn't use a full box frame on these vehicles for weight reasons, one. And the other one, they just didn't need that much structural rigidity. They're plenty strong the way they are with the, uh, the C-frame on. A cross member uh, for the uh, transmission is... is Absolutely brand spanking new, new motor mom or new tranny mom on it. M21 four speed tranny. All the linkage is uh, correct for Pontiac. Hearst linkage, by the way, it is a Hearst shifter. Appears to have a new starter on it also. New parking brake cable, which is all functional. You'll see the floor pans are just phenomenal on this car. Again, it was a rotisserie done car and a frame off. So the frame had been uh, addressed and completely powder coated again and then the undercarriage addressed the same way as it should have been with the uh, semi-flat black paint the way it would have come from the factory. Fuel line is also brand new also stainless steel 3 8 inch going toward the rear on the uh, driver's side. The frame there are a couple of very superficial jack marks on the frame in the center. Uh, you can maybe see them in the video. They're not they're just from being jacked up with uh, floor jack through the years. Doesn't hurt the uh, structural integrity of this vehicle in any way. Uh, the vehicle is just as new and original underneath as it could possibly be back to this point. New universal joint. Again, you can see no leaks on the transmission or the tail shaft. Two and an eighth inch pipes, the way Pontiac would have had it, off of the uh, high flow cast iron exhaust manifolds that were stock for this vehicle. Uh, heading toward the rear, they go into two Flowmaster mufflers, which we'll show you in a second here. Again, the floor pans and the uh, substructure to the floor pans is all intact. Uh, no marks. Uh, the, the pinch welds are all very evident in them yet. Uh, again, a high-quality frame-off rotisserie done car, 67 Pontiac GTO that we have. Okay, heading back toward the rear. Again, the rear, rear floor pans you can see are just unscathed in any way. From where your vantage point is now you may be able to see the jack marks that were here on the frame through the years from someone uh, jacking the car up. There's one here, a little tiny one there again. Uh, why they didn't pull them down when they did the uh, restoration I don't know but they are still there they just kept the originality with it. Two Flowmaster mufflers with our two and eighth inch pipes terminating into them. Appears to be two inch pipes going out the uh, rear of this uh, vehicle, and this is all new exhaust system obviously on this car. Again, the parking brake cable, all new hardware. Everything is brand new on this parking brake cable. Back to the uh, rear drum brakes, this in the front, drums in the rear, new shocks in the rear also, heavy duty Pontiac 10 bolt rear end, uh, pause attraction. The car is just a phenomenal restoration, no matter how you look at it. New. Uh, uh, springs in the uh, rear of this vehicle. The gas tank also appears to be new and it appears to be stainless steel also which is a nice uh, addition to one of these classic cars is to replace the uh, original tin tank with a stainless tank. Drop downs in the quarters uh, they're just as they were when they left the factory everything is really nice and clean and crisp the way it should be. The um, frame the way it goes up over the wheel wells um, over the rear end housing, everything is reconditioned to the point of being new, just the way it was in 1967. I don't see anything underneath this car that would tell you that it isn't a brand new 1967 uh, Pontiac GTO. Uh, 
we'll get you some more defined photos as, we, as Rich goes back through here further. But you'll see the drop downs in the fenders, the, uh, the rear of the car, the rear end of the car, the brakes. Everything is as new 1967. It's an absolute phenomenal restoration on this car. The, uh, the, the total package, the interior, the color, the, uh, uh, the, the amenities that this car has, and the way it's been done. It's been redone uh, from scratch to make it brand new as a 1967 Pontiac GTO. You're getting one of the finest cars on the market today, one of the most iconic, desirable cars, Pontiac GTO, in the best configuration color-wise and option-wise that you could possibly hope for. It's here at Hangsters, and you can buy it.